Joining me now with more insight into the preparations and pressures of an Olympic athlete is 1998 Olympic gold medalist and author of When Turtles Fly, Nikki Stone. Nikki, good morning. It's great to see you. Great. I'm excited you, to be here. You won the first gold in aerial ski skiing for, for the United States. You obviously knew your sport. What didn't you know? What kind of advice did you get about just the Olympics in general? Well, it's surprisingly not that different than what I share with corporate groups now. And the first thing I tell athletes is they have to plan for the unexpected. I, I tell them, don't don't imagine the Olympics like every other day because it's not. You have to make every day the Olympics so you're prepared for any obstacle that may be thrown your way. I also tell them to focus on the preparation and they have to focus on the process rather than the results because the results you can't control but the process is what's going to help you get there so you can't think about the parades or the medals or the Leno or Letterman. Well and that's what I wanted to talk to you uh, next. Uh, again people have prepared for their sport but the pressure of, of competing in the Olympics. Talk about the, the mental toll this takes. It's incredible pressure. You know, a lot of people in their business can understand a small project and how it builds into something greater, a big event or a big day, but you don't often go from having a hundred people monitor what you're doing to going to a hundred million people monitoring what you're doing. So it's something that you have to wait every four years to have this event. Uh, for me, I ground through a piece of hard plastic um, that I used because I grind my teeth at uh -huh. night and they gave me another one afterwards and it took me to 12 years that I have and ground through this so one. Once the once the pressure was off. For your new book, you interviewed several fellow Olympians, including Lindsey Vaughn and Sean White, uh, and they were very candid with you about what this takes. Oh, most definitely. I've been very honored with the people that have contributed to the book, and yours truly as well. <laughs> and uh, when Turtles Fly, in Lindsey's story, she actually talks about the passion and how she was being helicoptered off the slopes when she finally realized it's about the passion and what you love of your sport, and it's going to help her get through the pressure of the games. And for Sean White's story, when Turtles Fly, he talked talked about his parents' support, overcoming a heart condition to be able to build up to go to the games and then have them there for their support. And he realized that that's what the most important thing is and he's going to overcome his obstacles and find his success. But within these narratives, you're hoping that people will find something in their own lives that, that, that they might be able to apply the lessons. Most definitely. And one I have is that you have to bounce back from some of your obstacles. Uh, there was a quote by General George S. Patton that says, success is how high you bounce after you hit rock bottom. And uh, I'd bounce a Super Bowl to remind myself to stay strong. So I brought one for oh, you. No so that uh, three weeks is a long time, so you perfect. can bounce back if you need it. <laughs> Nikki, thanks very much. Really great seeing you. Great to see Appreciate you as well. Appreciate you being here. And we're going to take a break. We'll be back with more after these messages.